that's good for yeah that's good for the viewers as well all right number three how many so3 two minus ions are contained in a 99.6 milligrams of na2so3 the molar mass of na2so3 is 126.05 grams per mole so we have 99.6 milligrams of na2so3 and we want to figure out how many uh, so3 ions so32 minus ions in that in the sample well the one thing well, well when we visualize this problem first we want to see that we want to see that our units are correct first right so we have 99.6 milligrams so first we want to convert that into grams first because that's the si unit uh for um when we're calculating for moles or for molar mass as well so we want to convert this into grams so we want to say we have 99.6 milligrams multiply that by we one gram per 1,000 milligrams. So we're simply just defining this by 1,000, right? So we have 99.6 divided by 1,000. This, this is gonna give us a value of 0 0.0996 grams. And then what we're doing here is, uh, what well, once we convert it to grams, well, what we, what we can do is now convert this into moles, right? Because again, we wanna find how many ions this is. So we wanna convert from grams to moles and then find the mole ratio and then f convert it into ions which using Avogadro's number. So we have our mass here, so we want to find our moles. So moles is mass over molar mass, which is simply 0 0.0996 grams divided by, and th the question is nice because they give us a molar mass, right? So it's 126.05. Grams per mole. And this will give us uh, the moles of our uh, sodium sulfate here. So this is 0 0.0996 divided by 126.05. That'll give us a value of 7.902. Sorry. 7.902 times 10 to the negative 4 moles, which is exactly what they have here, which is good. So we're on the right track and they're on the right track as well, except they didn't uh, include the units here, which is unfortunate. So uh, let's see, what we, what we have here is, now we have to find some multiple ratio, right? So we can look back at our compound, which is Na2SO4. Or sorry, Na2SO3. And uh, well, what we have here is, we have Na2SO3 here and if we want to break this down into its uh, into kind of its components here, we have Na plus plus SO2 or sorry SO3 two minus, and we have two sodiums here. So if you look at the multiple ratio, sodiums would have two moles or one mole one mole one mole of uh, sodium sulfate is what is equivalent to one moles of the sulfate ion, but uh, one mole of sodium sulfate is equivalent to two moles of uh, sodium here. And again, we're not solving for sodium, we're solving for sulfate here. So this is a one-to-one -one ratio here. Uh, if you look at the coefficients, it, this is a one-to-one -one for NAS, Na2SO3 and SO3 two minus. If we were asking for sodium, it would be actually be a one-to-two ratio because there's two sodiums on this side to balance out this equation here. So if it's a one-to-one -one ratio, that means we all we know that we have 7.902 moles of also our sulfate, right? So therefore, we can say we have... Um, 7.902 times 10 to the negative 4 moles of SO3 2 minus. And then all we have to do is multiply that by average address number to get us our ions, right? So we can say that number of ions, so you can say uh, maybe NA equals moles, or sorry, that's the average address number. Let me uh, let me just write this out first for you. Uh, so I usually use capital N for number of particles, but it or number of ions, but it doesn't really matter. Um, so we moles times N A, where N A here is Avogadro's number. So N again, I have seven point nine zero two times ten to the negative four. Multiply Avogadro, multiply by Avogadro's number, which which is six point zero two times ten to the twenty three. So this is 
uh, this is moles per, or sorry, this would be ions per mole. And that would make the moles cancel out here. And then you would get your final value of 6.02 times 10 to the 23. You get 4.76 times 10 to the 20, which is exactly the correct answer for this problem. So we have 4.75. Uh, let's see how many, uh, uh, seven, five, right, seven, five, seven first ions. And then what we want to do is look at our significant digits, right? So we have one, we have three significant digits here and five here. So we would follow this, these three here. So therefore we have 4.76 times 10 to the 20 ions here. So this is our solution for this problem. And as you can see, the solution is also correct.